Good afternoon, good afternoon. Welcome to channel BBLOTT in the building. Your host, Montana. We t- retired the whoop. We doing the bump. Co host, <laughs> Vern Tyus. <laughs> All right. So, what are we doing today? We're we going over business. We're going business. over everything that happened last week, and we're going over everything to look forward to coming, All right. uh, what, October? October. So, pretty much um, the 501c3 uh, training course is almost over. The next classes are going to be starting October, you guys. So, October the 16th, Sunday at 1.30 to 4.30. If you want to take the business class, say, hey, I got this LLC, I got this nonprofit, or I don't got no business at all. Let me take this class to learn how to set up and structure my business correctly. I'm about to go over to head over to Blot at 503 East 200th Street, Suite 103. So, again, October the 16th is going down, 1.30 to 4.30, seven-week course. You're in the class with me and Vernon. We're going to be teaching for-profit, non-profit, development and structuring. And then on Monday will be the grant class. So the ones who already maybe have taken the um, 501c3 and the um, for-profit training and want to get into this grant class, the grant class is going to be starting October 17th from 6 to 8.30. And then the real estate class will be on Wednesdays from 6 to 8.30 on October the 19th. Now, the real estate and the business class are the ones that is going to be the last classes for the year. So, after October, November, we take a break in December. We start back up in January. So, if you want to come in January, say, hey, I would like to come in October, but I got things going on. So, I'm going to take this class in January. Or if you're saying, hey, I want to get my stuff done at the end of the year. So when January come, I'm going to start fresh with my new business and start developing it, getting some um, resources, some revenue going in there, start networking. Y'all want to come to that October class. Also, Miss Doris class for you, the ones that missed it last week, her class will be, let's see, what's the day? Okay, 24th. So September 24th from 11 to 5. So if you want to sit in that class, and get your group home training or residential care um, certificate from the state of Ohio. Her class is on September the 24th from 11 to 5. And it's an all-day event, so you want to come out, bring your lunch, bring water, bring everything, pillow. You're going to be there all day on that Saturday. All right? Anything else we got? Oh, this Saturday is going to be the Business Expo. So if you want to come out and network, come out be a vendor, um, come out and listen to some things that um, your keynote speakers are going to be saying, which be me and Vernon. Uh, come out Saturday, October, um, September the 17th. It's going to be at the Civic Center, um, 3030 Mayfield Road, uh, Mayfield Heights. Is it Mayfield Heights? No, Cleveland that's Heights. Mayf- that's Cleveland Heights, yeah. Yeah, Cleveland Heights, Ohio. Sorry. So Cleveland Heights, Mayfield Road, the Civic Center. It's going to be from 12 to 7. Uh, we're going to probably get up speaking about between 2 and 3. So get there. Come have a good time on that Saturday. Come network. Bring some business cards, flyers, and just enjoy yourself at this event. Um, what what are they uh, prone to learn at this expo? Um, this expo, you'll be learning how to start a business. You'll be learning how to develop and structure. You'll be learning how to uh, put real estate in it. You'll be learning how to open up your um, privatized banking. You'll be learning how to start, um, learn a little bit about insurance. You'll be learning how, what else? That's whatever that's- whatever we teach, we're going to just touch <laughs> on everything that we teach on. So you'll be getting little tad bits of information on how to structure and start this business. So basically, we're try, trying to get a fire up under you so you can be excited about starting a business. Yep. I, I think most, most important, um, you're going to learn, or we're going to provoke you, to uh, learn a little bit more about business because there's there's not enough time in this seminar for us to teach you everything, mm-hmm. but we're going to give you some very important information, something to to alert you about how business can play a part in your life. Right. You know, we get a lot of people that that's not just in Blot, but that ask questions about Blot. They catch us on the street, and the first complaint they got is about having a job and only a job. Okay. And I'm, I want to straighten this out for, for everybody out there. We're not just trying to get you to quit your job. So if you're scared we're trying to get you to quit your job when you come to Blot, forget that. This is about having a business, whether you maintain a job or not with your, uh, with your business. But it's about creating what we call the elastic income, having income that's uncapped and you have total control over it. All right? That's what we're trying to get you to do. 
Right. Some of the things these people got jobs. You know what they? The biggest fear that they have is two. Two of the biggest, the biggest fears biggest that they fear. have. One is how they gonna retire. Retirement plans are not the same as they used to be. Right. And we got a whole bunch of people now on TV. I mean, it's an influx of people because the market is doing. You know, the market lost fourteen hundred points yesterday. Mm. So we got a lot of people that's on TV want to talk to you about either getting an index annuity or how to open up more mutual funds and ETFs. And right. none of them really do the trick by themselves. Right, but I'm going right. to tell you what does the trick for most of these people that retire right now is ingenuity, investing in real estate, mm -hmm. and opening up your own business. Whether you do it with a job or you do it standalone. All right? Those are seem to be the best retirement plans for our culture. That makes sense? That makes, very, that makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. So okay. if you got somebody that is interested in doing real estate... How can you get them in the class? You call 216-815-7300. Right. I'm going to say it real slow. Okay. 216-815-7300. All right. All right. We get a lot of people in the class that, that, that has jobs. They just sick and tired of knowing that they're going to get up and make the same money. See, and that's crazy. <laughs> when you go to work... You already know what your paycheck going to be. Right. And when you get up and go to work, a lot of times, and a lot of us don't even know what our bill's going to be. The cell phone bill didn't went up. Gas didn't went up. Yeah. But old boss ain't paying us no more money. <laughs> well, we get a 3% increase mm -hmm. in some of these jobs. See, and, and that's where it is. And COVID is, thanks to COVID. Yeah. Thank you, COVID. COVID then woke Thank everybody you. up. Yeah. Everybody is saying, I'm about to start a job, whether they did it for the good reason so they can get PPP money, or they went on and did it for real where they can get revenue. Okay. But either way it go, if you decide to take your destiny in your own hands, we commend you on that. But come to Blot, that way we can get it structured and you can get <clears throat> revenue right away. Right, right, right. So basically get excited about if you have an idea, you know, come out, we can let us hear your idea. Um we can do, we can help you pull you know pull out the ideas and get up and running. We have people come here like all the time. We have people come here all the time every day. They call us. They come into Blot. They sit with us for hours. So it's never never nothing quick. Like okay, let me sit with y'all for like thirty minutes. It's always is it for you or just me? Uh, this, it's, yeah. it's, I know it was with me. It'd be hours. I'd be here at 10 o'clock at night. I don't just get hours here. I get hours on the phone, hours on Waterloo, hours everywhere we go. Yeah, Sometimes hours in the grocery the store. Yeah. So, yeah, we get, we give hours to our members. Yeah. Um, but this is what I, I challenge the audience to do. Those of you that always wish to have a business, didn't know where to start and all that stuff, and didn't know how that applies to you, I challenge you, whatever it is that you want to do, while you sitting at your job, you got to do it at your job, okay? Find some free time at your job. Mm -hmm. Cheat on the job. Uh -oh. You spend eight hours there working for somebody. I, I <laughs> hey, I charge you to take eight hours on your job, right? Just thinking about your own business. And if you got a computer at your access, cheat a little bit and research how much money you can make on that business. And then what I want you to do is I want you to compare it side by side to you only having a job versus you having a job in a business mm -hmm. versus you only running your own business. And let's see what your future look like when it comes down to retirement and stuff like that. And when you consider that, you got to use our method. Our method is those three vehicles. They oh, give you wow. exponential growth. And that is life insurance, right? Right. The business and real estate. Something that's going to give you forever money. Forever wealth. Let's put it that way. All right. All right. Anything behind that? Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. <laughs> uh, I think that's it. Because I'm trying to think, trying to get everything stationary to work. Okay. You know. Okay. Well, why are you thinking about you know, that? Go ahead. You got something. <laughs> Dang. You would have messed it up now. I forget. Okay. I forget okay. about it. All right. So, why, why, she, why are we waiting <laughs> on her to get that one together? There is a person. Okay. That is a prime candidate of this discussion, right? He's the guest for us today. Look at the camera, man. Uh, <laughs> Darrell Vincent is in the building. Woo -woo. How y'all doing? Good afternoon. All right. Hey, man, where, where, where was you working at? Or do you still have that job right now? 
I'm still employed with that job right yeah. now. Yeah, and, was, uh, was you was you sick and tired of just having the same income or what? For sure. Yeah, I, um, I don't see no progression. All right, let's that. let's start from the beginning. Okay. Way back, remember way back. How far are we going back? About, we're gonna say way back. About January of 2020. 2020 when we met y'all. When we met y'all. Right before COVID, we had a nice little. How was your lunch, life then? How was uh, it? <laughs> business meeting, you know? Yeah. How was my life oh, then? Right. I was, um, at that time, I was getting myself together. You know, I had lost my license. So, you know, I was catching the bus, going to work, you know what I'm saying? Um, I work for Cleveland Metropolitan School District, I'm a cleaner there. Um, I was going through the phase of getting my credit repaired. You know what I'm saying? I just had did bankruptcy. I'm going through all that. And um You wanna talk about how I met y'all? How, how I got introduced. Yes, you did. Okay, okay. Yes. So um so <laughs> me working at Cleveland Metropolitan Schools, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I met, I ran into uh Mrs. Tyus, which is your wife. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She was the secretary there at Garfield Elementary School over there on West 140th. And um she was cool. I just clinged to her because, you know, you know, us people, we got to stay together. You know what I'm saying? There weren't too many of us in the school. You know what I'm saying? So we, we clinged together, and she was just like a cool lady. And then I remember uh, one time you came up to the school, mm -hmm. and you was, like, trying to talk about the life insurance. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I just seen, like, they wasn't giving you no love because they feel like because <laughs> they, they ain't know, no love. They yeah, ain't know what I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, they try to feel like they weren't like you don't know what you're talking about. You know this. That's how it is in corporate America. You know what I'm saying? They feel like we don't know what we're talking about. And um, then I seen the dude come in the same doing the same thing you did, but he went you know African American and he getting all the love. I'm like, dang, that's not cool. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And um. I remember going up to Miss Tyus and we was talking and then she, you came up and she was like, yeah, my husband, he do a lot of things. He got this going on. Uh, got a lot of stuff going on. A lot of lie. And I'm like, well, and then she asked me like, what you want? She's like, you want to try something outside of this work? Like, you got like an idea? I'm like, man, I always wanted to do real estate. Mm -hmm. Real estate. And then she was like, well, my husband teaches that and I'm going to give you uh, his number. And that's mm -hmm. when I... Contact you Right We sat down And uh, we had our discussion But like I said At the time I had a lot going on In my life You know what I'm saying I was Trying to get my license back Living with my grandfather Trying to give me a spot it, The timing wasn't just right So mm -hmm. I had to get myself together Then once I got myself together We are gonna fast forward up to October 2021 Okay I come back Meet with y'all We just have our discussion We talk about the uh, Business first Mm -hmm. We did the business Which was last year October Then I did real estate Boom Then You did Then I did the uh, agency class in February Jan right. I think it was January wasn't it No February Because we was done like the end of March Alright Yeah right. yeah So we So yeah So I took those three things And um My business I'm elevating now Like I'm Like I got approved for the state About Two weeks ago for the uh, I'm gonna be an independent provider. I'm gonna do non medical and medical transportation. Um, I got a I got a non profit five hundred one c for my uh, Vincent VA veteran home, and we just been working on it. And it's, now I'm at the point where it's like okay, I'm about to use my vacation time in my job. And, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> now I'm at the point to where I'm ready to start working. Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right, my that. man, my man. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you something. Do you see light at the end of the tunnel when it comes down to building wealth? Mm -hmm. Right? It's bigger. The, the picture is bigger now. Uh -huh. Cleaner, right? Uh-huh. Uh, didn't, didn't have a job. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So that's good. As long as I feel like, see, we, me and my tanner, my tanner and I has to feel like we are accomplishing something based off of your results. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So do you feel like you got something out of this class? Yes, I learned a lot. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Good. I learned about business credit. I learned about a non-profit and a for-profit. Didn't even know what that was. I learned how to actually, how to do research on real estate. You know what I'm saying? Like the formula, how to look for houses, how to contact people. Um, like I said, I learned about non-medical and medical transportation. I never knew about, I never knew nothing about 
a agency or nothing. So I learned a lot. Yeah. So, so it you, was beneficial. You're farther ahead than when you started. Pretty much. Yes. Way yes, okay. Yes, yes. Did we w- kind of walk with you like we probably? Yeah. 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 Uh, we we walked you a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Right, so we, we got to make it a habit of giving y'all some credit because you did a lot of work. All right, but I'm going to tell you the first nugget and the, and the first nugget of appreciation I'm going to give you uh-huh. is when we met, it wasn't just at that restaurant. Remember the first time we met? And this is one of the things that we got to we, we gotta uh, talk to our, more of our culture about. Uh-huh. You had to go through a moment of perseverance. It's because you had a relative that really couldn't even appreciate your interest in real estate. Remember that? Yeah, 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 I think so. At your house. I ain't going to say who he was, but it was a guy like, what y'all meeting for? Why we need to meet with him? Oh, yeah, yeah. But no, it was, but but that was after when I met y'all at at that diner. Yeah. Yeah, that was after. Yeah, I know you still, you had to. You you know, and a lot of of us, we deal with family members or peers that really have a negative attitude Uh and they not really supporting what we got going on. Yeah. And you know what's crazy though? That same person told me, "Oh, I, I'll, I'll help you. I want to be there now because he see like I'm like progress." And I'll be like, "Okay, okay." <laughs> yeah. See, but well, that's that's how you gotta do it. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta veer away from them, yeah. go get it, uh-huh. and then you gotta make a decision whether you are gonna let them participate or not. You True. know what I'm saying? Because they can't bring that negativity into yeah. your situation, so right. you still gotta vet him out. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, but yeah, I gotta give you that, man, it's because mm-hmm. I know. Me and I, Montana, or Montana and I, we both come from situations. I mean, you grow up in the hood. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> and you got families that really didn't have a whole lot. And you finally get something, and you trying to share it with the community. They not quick to bite on. Strangers are quick to bite on before they're quick to bite on. Mm-hmm. Right? And that's what we experience. And we appreciate you just persevering through that. Yeah. Yeah, so congratulations, man, on everything that you got going on, man. I appreciate it. So what's the next move? Uh, the next move is to start this uh, non-medical, medical transportation, build that revenue up. Now I'm going to go uh, get me a, a home. Oh. Then I'm, yeah, buy me a home. And I want to uh, do like a, a, a disability home for veterans because, you know, I, my, my thing, my business is sculptured around veterans. Mm-hmm. And I got that from my uh, grandfather because he served – in the uh in the military, and um, I just took heed to it. And I'm like, well, I'm gonna just run it off of him because me and him got a close relationship. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's the only person I feel like in my corner that would like, you know what I'm saying? Is he watching right now? Watching? Uh, no, he probably on bed rest. You know, he okay. just had surgery. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. yeah. Okay. We, we gonna, we, it's recorded though. Yeah. So I mean, we really appreciate your grandfather and his relationship. With he came you. to yeah. the class. So yeah, he did. He did. He came he used to be class. coming. He sure yeah. did. Yep. Just to sit he learned a lot of stuff too. He learned some stuff he ain't know about. <laughs> yeah. See, sometimes you can't teach an old dog new tricks. And he came in, he was soaking it up. Yeah, he I was. Mean, he soaked up more than you did. Yeah, nah. He was excited. He nah. was excited. Nah. He was definitely nah. excited. Yeah, he was excited. What'd you think about Pops? What I think? Yeah. Um, sure, he was outgoing. He was like, just had a lot of energy. Just a lot of energy. And he was like, if he don't do it, let me know my tenant and I can be on him. So, and then found out that, you know, y'all got to y'all gotta come together. <laughs> you find someone in your family. That's going to support. Yeah, that holds you accountable for doing something big. You keep them close. And that's what we've seen in Pops. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He wanted to hold you accountable for what you said you was going to do. You had a big vision. You said you was going to do it. And I think a lot of what he have in him, you have in you, and he mm-hmm. passed that over to you, and he wanted to make sure mm-hmm. that that grew. And yeah. that, that's what we appreciated about him. Right. Yeah. Especially that you named it after our last surname. Name. Yeah, yeah. yeah, our last name, yeah. Yeah, and in honor of what he already went through. Yeah, I, like I said, I come from a lot of a whole military background, you know what I'm saying? My great-grandfather, my grandfather, my uncles, I had a couple cousins, so I'm just like, okay, we're going to just take this and run with it. Okay. We're going to just take this and run with it. That's good, man. I, I hope Pops, I, I wish him well, mm-hmm. um, a speedy recovery, and I hope he have a, a whole lot, an, an abundance of energy to help you with this, this venture. That's appreciate right. it, appreciate it. Also, um... You have you've been calling me a lot, right? Mm-hmm. So since you've been calling me, I got other people calling me too. They say, "Hey, mm-hmm. I heard you help Darrell with oh, like, yeah. who was this?" So it'd be like ten people calling, and they see they see what you're doing too. Yeah, they see yeah. it. They're asking you, "How did you do that?" 
Can you can you help me do that? Yeah, and, <laughs> they all want to know about nonprofits. Right. You know so everybody wants this nonprofit now because they seen. Oh, I remember him when he was. Yeah. Now he didn't got this, this, and this, and so yeah. far. Where, where did you go to get that? Yeah, I told so him go to block. Right. They got to go through what I had to go through. I ain't about to shortcut nothing. Y'all got to go sit in them, take the sacrifice, sit in them classes like I did. But yeah, you, you know learn. Yeah. Do you recommend black? Yes. Definitely. Okay. I, y'all help us. It ain't like y'all just throw us out to the wolves. Y'all show, showing us hands on, and it's really working. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, yeah, so that's why I'm like, y'all got to – Go put in that work like I put in that work. I ain't no sure shortcuts. You put in a lot of work. You put a lot of work in. Because yeah. I remember we was here for how many hours that day? Oh, when we was trying to do that. Man, I, I think my head was hurting. <laughs> yeah, we was here. For hours. Mm-hmm. And then the next day, hours. And then, get, bam. You was now, like, I got approved. Yeah, I'm like, Now approved by the state. Now I'm ready to start this new journey. By the state for DOD. Yeah. DOD, uh, independent okay. provider for non-medical and medical transportation. All right. Very good. So even after uh, a, a person that come in that with your aspiration, everything that you want to do, are you willing to give them some each one, teach one? Oh, tell them like, yeah, 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 oh, yeah. yeah, yeah okay, yeah, even yeah. the little tidbits. You ain't yeah. got to teach them like what well, we They got to go through the process, yeah. the initial process. But we have a situation where we all, everybody that come in, you know, we need to support each other. We need, sometimes mm-hmm. people need mentors. They need to reach on to a person that's 10 steps ahead of them to even get, you know, the expectation. Mm-hmm. But sometimes they even get pushed on, mm-hmm. right? So just to let the audience know, especially block members and block audience, that, you know, this each one teach one thing is not just about, you know, you come in here, get a whole bunch of information, uh, and then understanding that you get coached by Montana and myself. We have a whole slew of people with different walks, that will help you yeah. understand what's coming uh, uh, before you, all right? Right, right. Okay, so what would you like to tell everybody out there? How about the... Uh, the about you. Well... About black. About black. <laughs> <laughs> well, about me. If you really want to hard work and really want to know the knowledge, I'll help you. Like, if I can, if you really want to do it, I can help you out, show you the way. And about black... I recommend people come do it if you want to be. We need more black entrepreneurs out here in this world. And um, I think this is a step stone to help you get to where you need to be. So I definitely rec- highly recommend you coming here at Block. Okay. And give a special thanks to everybody that's important to you. And don't forget your grandfather. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Shout out to my granddad. Get well. Thank you, Vern. Thank you, M- M- Montana, for helping me. Uh, on camera? Hold on. He got me on camera. Say that shout out again. Oh, shouts out to my granddad. <laughs> shouts out to Montana and Burn. I appreciate y'all right. for helping me how to become an entrepreneur. And um, yeah. Get here. All right. gonna get, we get here. Okay, all right. All right. So that was Darrell Vinson, Mr. Vinson. Um, young man that had a uh or has a career with uh CMSD um and, and felt like he needed to do more. And that goes back to what we was talking about earlier. The reason why entrepreneurship is important to our community. Right, right. Definitely. It's very important. Um, I think the time is now to come out. I think the time is needed. Um, like you said, we need more uh, black businesses, black entrepreneurs to come out, learn this stuff, grow, grow the business. Don't just settle for like a nine to five. Don't settle for that. Um, you can be any age. We got all ages in the classroom. So we'll say, okay, it's too late for me because now I'm getting ready to retire. No, you can still start your own business at retirement, right? Most definitely. <laughs> My father started his business at re- right after retirement as a general contractor. He took something that he loved to do and turned it into revenue. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, um, and, and understanding that having a business or having a proper business structure or being an entrepreneur gives you that uncapped growth, uh, exponential growth in your financial life. It's today's right. money. It's money that you can pass on to your kids, whether you can pass a business on. Um, and, and one more thing. Those of you that's passing out information that an LLC dies when the person dies, y'all cut it out, all right? Because you can structure an <laughs> LLC, right? If you structure it the right way, you can have an LLC pass on to your kids and generations to come forth. All yeah. right. Well, how, much, how long we got? We got about four minutes? Okay. So we got four minutes. Yep. You're going to recap. 
I'm gonna recap. Yep, I don't recap. Wanna recap. Like I just re recap. They can rewind the tape. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna recap real quick. So this Saturday, you guys come out to the Civic Center, um, three zero three zero Mayfield Road in Cleveland Heights. We will be there in the building teaching you about how to start or getting you motivated to start your business for next month or the upcoming year of next year. Um, it is a free event, so hey, make it worth your while. Come out, start networking. Mm -hmm. Do your entrepreneurship thing and get some phone numbers, pass out your business cards. So it's going to start at 11, at 12 o'clock to 7, all right, this Saturday at the Civic Center, 11 to 7. If you guys are interested in coming to the classes, um, next month will be the last classes of the year. So October the 16th is a Sunday from 1.30 to 4.30, seven-week program. Um, the grant class is a four week program. It's going to be Monday on uh, October the 17th from six to eight 30. And the real estate is from six to eight 30 as well. October 19th. And that's a six week program. I got to get it in my head. Six weeks. Miss Doris will be in the building, not this week, but next Saturday. Um, you guys that are interested in doing your group home training and <coughs> residential care, um, training, getting your certificate with the state of Ohio, stop playing games, get in this class. Um, she's coming here, drives uh, a far distance to get here to give you those credited hours. And basically, she was going to be here on next Saturday, um, September 24th from 11 to 5. Um, the next one, she'll be doing another couple more classes. Then she's going on break. So she's going to be going on break the same time we go on break. So she's going to be done for the rest of the year. So I think she got a couple more classes to go and she'll be done. So get with her now is the time. Um, to get in that class. Also, what we got? Um, just one one announcement about the real estate class. Tonight we're doing wholesale. So anybody that didn't sign up for the real estate class and you want to come in and pilot, meet uh, Carlos Lewis, that'd be the one running the class today. He's going to talk about how do you get property for free or how do you exchange property for free without owning it. All right. And wow. that's the wholesale deal. Okay. All right. That's at six o'clock today. <laughs> At 503 East 200 Street, Suite 103. All right. And also, um, what else? I was about to say, it went blank. <laughs> Dang it. I did it again. Uh, also, if you want to come on the show, you guys want to come on the, the podcasting show to get, you know, just to meet us, say, hey, I want to have something to say. Or you want to start your own podcasting show, say, hey, we're going to see Larry James. He has a podcasting. You still got that, Larry? He has a podcast, and we can teach you how to start your own studio, or he can have, or he can do it for you. So come out to 503 East 200 Street, meet me and Vernon, meet Larry James. So pretty much start your own podcast. All right. That's right. I mean, if you're talking about starting a business, you might as well. Might as well market get, it. Yeah, get your reach out there, all right? Widen your reach. Make it long and wide, right? And the only way to do it is on the podcast show. And we got a couple networks that is that it showcases on. So then you have your podcast powered by KAZ Radio TV as well as how Blot is getting powered by KAZ TV. So we we just come show up. Everything's already done. And we just come on and bam. Yep. And that's why she, uh, why are you so giddy? What? Oh, because I, um. <laughs> <laughs> See what you uh, did, Mr. Vincent. You didn't came on the show and got Montana all giddy. All right. Oh but my yeah, God. This, this is our entrepreneur show. And again, this is Blot, Building Business Leaders of Tomorrow okay, Today. Is we done? Is our time up? <laughs> okay. Okay, go ahead. Building Business Leaders of Tomorrow Today. Uh, and, and what we do is we nurture future business owners and future business leaders. All right. You come here, you get yeah. your stuff right. Yeah. Learn how to build assets, not just. Uh, how to get the paperwork done or how to go buy real estate but how to structure it and make assets coordinate with each other. All right? Um, am I right? Yeah, you're right. Okay. All right, so Montana, you give us the, the solution. All right, Goodbye. so ne uh, tune in next Wednesday at noon. Block Incorporated, um, Building Business Leaders of Tomorrow Today Podcast Network. I'm your host, Montana. And your host, Vern Tyers. Peace. <laughs>